wonderful people much welcome to my channel i am charlotte chi so today let's dig deep in what keeps people from moving into a desired lifestyle in self-empowerment in a life that is so fulfilling there is five things that really keep people from moving in to something they had imagined but it never happened so there's resistances there's stubbornness there's old cycles and there is especially that item beyond stubbornness and resistances which is laziness laziness comes from being born in genetic manipulation of the earth called soul consciousness and does that happen with all of us somehow sometime some kept up with their strength some didn't so we all have our own history at times we all need a helping hand to really get out of these you know repetitive cycles that rather kill us than make us right we all have them but we all can move out of them with a little help from our friends so i had this particular friend and uh, like she went into her 70s and you know getting depressed like never before and uh, she wanted to get out of the old um, lifestyle of the food industry and getting into the chemical the alchemy transformation in the body and so uh, she invited me to give her uh, some um, lessons in cooking for a, a light body but it turned out to be or uh, <laughs> to become a seven day seminar instead of a few hours so here is why so as i arrived at that station and uh, you know we uh, went shopping shopping the healthy foods with zero percent toxicity with zero percent any processed foods zero percent animal products so all natural herbs nutrition uh minerals and vitamins uh from some um let's say vegetables and fruits as well loads of uh rice beans uh quinoa all that stuff she was not aware of but that was quite a while so i ended up in her kitchen and i said i cannot possibly you know prepare any meal in this kind of kitchen like i'm very open i will tell it like it is and that's like there's three or four coffee machines there's about 10 other machines i have zero percent interest in because you know it just you know makes the whole energy in the kitchen very dense very negative the moment i opened the cupboards all like 20 to 30 years old cups old uh you know stuff uh to cook with old pans and pots uh and i said this needs to go into the trash can you want to move out of your old cycles yet anything and everything in your own house is addicted to the old and that includes your cup of coffee so and she sort of gave me carte blanche so uh, i could do whatever i wanted and throw out anything i wanted so i ended up in uh, clearing out that kitchen with uh, 20 or 30 bags piled with old uh you know old plates old cups old uh <laughs> pans and pots and everything every machine went out i kept one small coffee machine and that's about it and uh, when she saw that she opened her eyes and she said oh, what a relief she didn't even feel feel the density the negativity coming from old plates even you know silver knives silver forks and all that stuff i just threw it in the question uh, you can sell it if you want i want to spend a few years on selling out all the antiquity in your home or you can just throw it away right away which is ease and grace so um 
as we opened that up and I started cooking and uh, from one thing came the other then she wanted a healing session I gave her a healing session and then she wanted to move her light embodiment into uh, the level I'm at that is right into the ascension in which things just happen overnight that is moving beyond the soul right into spirit consciousness and you move all of the breaking veins of the chakra system into the pillars of light and you break that open in which you and your energy field expands like 10 20 miles in circumference and uh, you can heal or like uh, just anything and uh, so after that healing session i said i cannot do the seminar in, in in your home i mean everything i look at your desk is piled with stuff your dining table is piled with stuff um your let's say your office is piled with stuff i you know it's like i needed to find my navigation through all that old stuff she kept and uh, so i suggested we may start cleaning out <laughs> your living room as well and get some fresh air and water in it she, she had two women who came to cleanse the house but they never did anything they just talked and talked and talked so <laughs> that particular home was piled with uh, trash from 20 30 40 years old i said you cannot possibly heal out in all that old trash these old cycles that old 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 everything and so i just moved out um you know out of a next uh, elevation into my spirit consciousness my my ascension vibration all the way into the mountain top and configurating new light bodies and so i felt that this you know it rearranges any home and so i didn't expect that anywhere i would go i would rearrange that entire home so i opened those huge antique <laughs> cupboards and everything you know and uh, you know i took all the trash out of it including glasses of wine including crystal glasses including many many expensive uh, plateaus and you know uh, all that stuff um, that is so old but that keeps the brain and recycling the old and that keeps the brain especially in laziness and resistances because all I came across was laziness but then she said but I'm not lazy you know I have an, an, an office and she was actually a dentist and she worked very hard in her practice but outside of that she had a great life never cooked for one day for herself she went to a restaurant every day for 40 years she you know she had a lot of pleasure she was a big spender spending every single penny in whatever she liked no problem in that then again she went completely sick sick from everything not realizing that she was extremely lazy when it comes to doing things that are a necessity out of everything else so as we started to clean out one cupboard after the other the table rearranging the living room by that time i was like eight hours further i had been working for 12 or 14 hours a day and next morning she came downstairs she said what kind of flow the entire energy field in the home shifted it was piled with flow with joy with happiness and uh, you know i had to sort of cope uh, um, a container park to you know to get all of that old stuff out of her home and uh, that is only two rooms but then at the same time i started to give her a seminar into the celestial 
bodies beyond uh, the dumping of the chakra system or the killing fields or what killed the planet all over which was a saddle plan actually killing the breeding system killing killing the breath and so it was very very confronting for her but then again she said just you know you just continue doing this because uh, i cannot live like this anymore realizing she was not just lazy but extremely lazy when it comes to the household when it comes to dealing with friends when it comes to dealing with paperwork when it comes uh, to dealing and restructuring um, what needs to be done in order to have more fulfillment then it comes to extreme laziness getting the courses in integrating then getting the breathing system so there was actually connected to laziness resistances and stubbornness that is the great machinery uh, that comes in front of you and meaning she had no structure at all when you don't have any structure you don't have any foundation a foundation that assists you in your strength in your health in your capabilities in your skills uh, in your empowerment and that means you need to start restructuring everything you love in your life and bring that level into some sort of maturity and that takes quite some time because neither me neither neither of of us uh, you know expected it to go that way so after two days third day I would give another healing and all her hands her legs everything was bloated with water so the water container the emotional body was overloaded with old stuff old connections and she couldn't really leave her practice as a dentist behind because it was all she knew except from partying outside that uh, type of work and so that is not a good thing because she didn't take time for self-education she didn't take time uh, to choose and to redirect her brain into the present day what is required from a spirit so she blamed the universe and spirit for all her diseases in the body and now she saw she was her own disease and that is what we become if we don't take care of the stuff that needs to go so releasing the old cycles the laziness stubbornness and resistances starts out with releasing all that stuff in your home that does not longer serve you and it doesn't cost a lot of money uh, to you know to buy a modern day cup to drink your coffee from and you know to buy a nice modern day platter to eat your meal from just i'm just saying you don't have to do anything but it's all part of releasing the old and uh, changing your living room changing the cupboards changing buying new stuff you know buying new curtains except uh, instead of you know looking at curtains that are there for 10 years that does not pertain to the modern day world and moving forward and uh, then again <laughs> her breath was always stuck she could barely walk and from then on I started to give her every day a seminar in uplifting her light body into the ascension vibe in which she could open up all visions which commands the clearing of your home on a continuum uh, or a continual level actually and that is where the graciousness comes from if you're grateful to your source your spark and your spirit and the universe then we need somehow to treat our body as a temple of light and if we don't we just put in our body whatever we want free will versus divine will if you're aligned to divine will you can restructure your life with ease and grace in no time 
and that is you know the third day we started out uh, cleaning out the office and then a seminar of four hours another seminar of two hours in the light body cooking style which she loved she had no idea it could be so simple and a healing session and that for a whole week so after a week i rearranged her entire home matching her new embodiment in light deleting the old stuff the stubbornness the confrontation especially most people run away from the confrontation she did not she was just ashamed you know that she had been so lazy when it comes to doing stuff she didn't like with light fulfillment self-empowerment and then leading a life that is being restructured into something that brings all the other things to the beauty that you are as a human being that needs a little bit of mental strength emotional delete uh, capabilities and moving that up into some kind of study that brings fulfillment that brings upliftment that supports you and that gathers and that pushes you into the new when holding on on a structure and then i showed her every day how my structure was she could arrange that her way like i get up in the morning i have a cup of coffee i have a liter of juices that is carrot juice ginger juice uh, apples kiwi uh, whatever but i flush out i have two liters of water with gemstones in it to clear the emotional body so i let go every day of anything that was astral plane astrology and move straight in astronomy so leaving soul conscious behind the breaking brain's soul consciousness breaks you until your lost breath and then again it is promoted like a million miles on every google machine so think about it and maybe listen to my video how to get into um your healing light capability there is a free webinar out there there's a link in the description as well if you want to move into there i'm just saying like after uh, a week of healing and the body giving a course in healthy food um restructuring the body and giving a structure like if you have a structure you get up in the morning have your coffee have an, at least one hour alignments to the crystalline grids uh, removing the matrix matrix of captivity and rearranging the genetic uh, manipulation into the origin of your genes that is bringing to the alchemy at least one hour in the morning one hour at night before and asking and getting the technology to getting the transformation through the nighttime hours as well there is a sleep free sleep meditation as well to transform trauma and your lung capability you know like the the attack on the lungs has been massive worldwide just you know to keep you enslaved it uh, started out with hiv SARS, anything the flu and uh, you know yeah the covid uh, nonsense i got enough of it you can move out of it at any time that means you start healing your breathing system your lungs your heart circulation getting out of the chakra system is the least you can do and knowing how to do it so that is what i do as well in individual sessions if uh, you don't know where to start what course to take or how to move on or if you're that stuck in the old cycles then maybe you need a helping hand as well. So I do individuals as well as seminars online, one-on-one, -on -one, and get to the bottom line of what keeps you in these stuck patterns that are so old and, you know, repeating everything time over and over. Like when people move in a weekend or something, they do the same stuff in the weekend. When you move in your week, 
uh, days you do the same stuff in your weekdays. They need to flow, you know, one as in oneness. And that is all there is to it. And so uh, she completely changed overnight, so to speak, in uh, one week time, rearranging her kitchen and living room and study room, or let's say her office, and, uh, you know, making that choice and seeing how lazy she was, because she was used to command everybody. She commanded me, do this, do this. I just, you know, I'm a very straight person when you live in spirit consciousness, when you lifted yourself out of anything unworthiness and stuff. And so I told her, you do it yourself instead of commanding me. I'm here to assist you. I will do whatever I deem appropriate. And uh, <laughs> so I needed to confront her with her command station because she was not able to, uh, let's say, to see it, to become aware of that pattern in her brain. Uh, because she was a very nice lady and, you know, being confronted with that command station, commanding everybody instead of doing it yourself, means you don't want to learn from yourself, actually. And that is very important to understand. Doing things yourself, taking the courses yourself, writing down the notes yourself. and. Um, you know, cooperating with other people. That is the way to go into the future. That is the way to go, you know, rearranging with team members and allowing yourself to move. And from that platform, when you cleansed your house, every room, the garage, the garden, but exactly everything, she started to realize that spirit, your breath, your light needs to move through all that trash before it comes in your temple of your light, in your body. You know, it doesn't matter how you term your embodiment, your light body. And that is when she started to realize, I am that disrespectful to spirit. Because the light from the universes and galaxies, if they need to move through me, they need to move through all my old stuff in the home, through all my old trash. Gee, that was some kind of confrontation. And oftentimes, that particular trash can resides in your intestinal tract. So releasing and fasting is very, very important, starting with the glands in your body, releasing the limbic system and every gland in particular from your laziness, resistances and stubbornness. As I said in all of my videos, moving out of duality is moving into the trinary systems. No more old computers that run on zero one, going into the new computer system, which is the capstone of creation. Everybody is so attracted by the capstone not knowing what it means. So in the next video, we will talk about the all seeing eye, about the omni eye, about the six, seven, eight eye, about the movement up there and how to get there. So you start cleansing out your closets first before even thinking about seeing anything that pertains to the reality of the divine and spirit it is grounding anyways. And so there's people that have already chosen to remain in old soul consciousness, meaning you keep on clearing yourself without any end, without any end in vision. You keep on clearing, moving in uh, from the soul into spirit consciousness means you clear, you move it up, you clear, you move it up, you expand and you move out of that nonsense, which can be done. This year, like in no time, you move in a very light body and you move into the alchemy. You move from the alchemy into your origin. You move from the origin into your authenticity. From your authenticity, you plant your particular vibration in what you were meant to do on the earth. And that is when your life gets in supreme alignment with the divine and 
you know, like 100% fulfillment every day in your passion, knowing uh, and polishing your skills and discovering more about yourself every day in soul consciousness, this ain't even possible. It's not even a thought form because you keep on recycling and thinking about what happened a few hours ago, let alone 20 years ago or 10 years ago. So if you still remain in that, then this is the time to get you out of the old, you know, constraints of the past, your birth chart, the astrological wheel and moving into the galaxies, the universes, and that is truly the assignment of everybody on the planet as the planet is turning its wheels those doing the work will move with it. Those who are uh, not deciding to do it, there's no problem. We will see each other on the other side anyways, as the other side and this side will merge together. So that is what I have for you. I hope it helps you to realize and to see how important it is to first cleanse your house and then start deciding where you would like to start uh, to uplift yourself, releasing the old modalities, releasing the, the fears, the sadness, whatever cycles around, and getting confronted. Yes, of course, why not? But one thing I deem appropriate to say is never, ever forgive yourself. There's nothing you need to forgive yourself. The word in itself, forgiveness, means you done something wrong. You never do anything wrong. We all did our best to go there and there and there. So instead of forgiveness, that is being promoted like a million dollar vibe on YouTube as well. That is what keeps you exactly in dumping of soul consciousness. All you can do or need to do is just accept yourself as you are and give yourselves the high five and uh, talk to yourself have a new vision for your life a new empowering vision hold on to that vision write out a vision during 30 days rewrite your vision cling on that vision hold on to your light your beauty and claim the knowledge about who you want to be, where you want to live, how you want to see yourself, and you know, we fight, we fight every day until you get there, until you realize you are worth the best life ever, and realizing it takes action, it takes commitment, it takes structure, it takes actually mental strength and high level psychology. No more emotion, yet higher sensuality, higher senses fully activated that delete the emotional body that gets people at times so fat in body, but also in consciousness, not realizing that it's actually the, um, the consciousness of uh, negativity that creates the fat cell. So moving out of that and breaking that deal and sealing a new deal with the divine is where you could get. So if you need a little helping hand and uh, getting out of at least that stubbornness, laziness and resistance to remove the resistance even, then I have these private sessions or seminars and uh, other than that, I wish you all the best, good luck, and uh, just talk to the divine and ask your divine path to open up and ask where you can take action today and get it all moving. Wish you all good luck. Charlie Chi, logging out. Thank you so much.